Hey there Dev Squad, Virtus here and welcome back to my Unreal Engine 4 Endless Runner tutorial series. In today's video we're going to be working on a movement mechanic similar to Subway Surfers whereby when you swipe down it is going to push the player out of the air and back down to the ground. So what I mean by that is at the moment when you jump it takes quite a little while for you to fall down to the ground. We're going to be giving the player the ability to press the down arrow key or swipe down to pretty much add an impulse pushing them down to the ground. Now if you guys wanted to you could take things one step further and add in things like animations for rolling and that kind of stuff and if you do want to learn to take things one step further you can do so by checking out my animations essential series but for now you're going to learn everything you need to set up the movement mechanic as part of this video. So what we're going to be doing in this video is two things. First and foremost setting up the input for that for the down arrow and then secondly adding in the blueprint code to actually add in that impulse and we're also going to explain exactly how impulses work. So let's go ahead and dive into it. So first things first we need to set up the input for the down key. So go to edit and project settings and within here we are properly going to be adding in this input. So on the left hand side within your engine settings you want to go to input, expand your action mappings and then just press the little plus icon here to add a action mapping. We are going to give this the name roll slash lower. Now we're only going to be adding one input for now which is just going to be the down key on the keyboard. If you want to learn how to do all the swipe controls that is going to be something we'll be doing later on in the series. So we're going to be showing you how to swipe left, right to change lanes and then up to jump, down to you know do this ability as well but for now we're just going to be using the keyboard for testing purposes. So what we have here is a input that is going to be fired off when you press the down key on your keyboard. Close this up and we can start working on the code which is actually going to add the impulse. So because this is affecting the character and the character movement we have got to do this within the third person character blueprint. So go to third person BP blueprints and open up your third person character. And then all we're going to do is within here jump over to your event graph tab if it's not all open already, find some space and we are going to create a input event for that roll slash lower action that we've just created. So right click type in roll slash lower, add your input event and with this we can fire off some code once you press it or release it. In this case it is simply going to be when we press it and what we're going to be doing is adding in that impulse that I mentioned earlier and the impulse we want to apply this to the character movement so that it works hand in hand with the rest of the character movement and then you should have this little node that looks like this. The target should be character movement like I just said and then your impulse we can apply this to any one of the three axes. Now the X, the Y and the Z they are all different and they're going to do different things and the best way to find out what they're going to do is to just sort of minimize this for a second and take a look at your axes little viewfinder in your viewport. So you can see in the bottom left Z is going to be vertical and then X and Y are going to be forwards, backwards, left and right. Now like I said we just want to push him down to the ground so that is going to be on the vertical axes. So what we're going to be doing is applying a negative impulse to the Z to push him down to the ground. If it was positive it would push him up into the air almost like a jump. So what we're going to be doing is applying minus 3000 to the Z. Now you guys can play around with this number to get a sort of the desired effect and strength that you're looking for but I found minus 3000 is about where I want it to be. It's not too quick, it's not too slow, it works the way I want it to. What you also want to do is make sure velocity change is ticked so that it's going to work because otherwise it's just not going to. Hit compile, jump into the game and now if you jump 
and then press the down arrow key, you can see that it's going to take you down into the ground pretty quick. And if you've just gone over an obstacle, you can get straight back down and jump again if you need to. So that is pretty much everything for this ability. Like I said, if you wanted to, you could add things like animations into this. And if you want to learn how to do that, I definitely advise you check out my animation sort of essential series. There is one other thing that I wanted to fix before I end the video, and that is there is more obstacles in the left lane than there is in the middle and the right. And that is simply because we missed out some of the execution pins within the master tile blueprint. So go into runner files, blueprints, and then master tile, open this up and you'll notice from lane zero, we're only going to be spawning in the obstacles if it's the pipe that's being spawned. We want to do it on all of them. So for the execution pins, after the spawn actor, obstacle box, pipe, and the coin pickup, make sure all of these go into that switch node from all of these, just like this. And what you're going to notice now is when you compile the game, jump in, you are going to have an equal amount of obstacles on all three lanes. It's really as simple as that. And hopefully now you guys are starting to see your endless runner game come to life. Anyway guys, that is pretty much everything I wanted to show you for today's video. Once again guys, thanks for watching, stay awesome, keep creating. Your boy Virtus, signing out. This video was made possible by my supporters on Patreon. If you want more videos like this, check out my Patreon page using the link in the description. To stay up to date on new releases, make sure you follow us on social media.